Carol, thanks very much for joining us. When it comes to a company like Anheuser-Busch, I just wanted to know, what do you think are the biggest sustainability challenges that you guys have to deal with right now? Well, for Anheuser-Busch InBev, uh, the key strategy that we work on is water. Obviously, water is the key ingredient in our beers, and so having an abundant, high-quality water supply is essential. And we're seeing increasing stress in some areas, so this is something we're, we're working on a lot. We have... Um, we work first within our walls, as we say. So within our breweries, we work to reduce our water consumption. And we do that through a lot of small fixes, which can really make a big impact when you think about having 150 facilities around the world. And then externally, we also work um, with our barley farmers around the world. So we have more than 15,000 barley farmers that we partner with. So we will work with them on using proper irrigation techniques to reduce their water consumption. But then we're also working with them to introduce new varieties that are drought tolerant and can produce higher yields. And the other thing about beer companies is you guys have a lot of transportation that, that goes on. If you've ever driven down a highway, you've seen the <laughs> beer trucks and increasingly exporting. People drink Anheuser-Busch products all over the world. How can you make that process more efficient? Yes, so we are working in that area as well. As you mentioned, lots of Budweiser trucks on the road. And so we are in the process of actually introducing a transportation goal that we'll be announcing later this year. Last year, we introduced um, a new set of goals. We had put our first set of goals into the marketplace back in 2009, public global environmental goals, and we accomplished those at the end of 2012. So we reduced our water consumption by nearly 20 percent, we reduced our energy consumption by nearly 12 percent, and we reduced our carbon emissions by nearly 16 percent, and that exceeded all of our goals. So last year we introduced this new round. Um, it looks at, I mentioned, our water consumption, energy consumption in our breweries, externally within the agricultural side of things. We also look at our packaging reduction and then we'll be introducing a new logistics target as well. Now when you put on your other hat at Anheuser-Busch, you are also in charge of essentially promoting responsible drinking. I'm curious how that kind of job has changed now that it feels like texting and driving is almost the new driving drunk. There has been a lot of work over the years. We have campaigns that actually date back to the early 1900s that carry the tagline, Budweiser means moderation. So we've been promoting that for a long time. We have obviously done a lot on the drunk driving front. We introduced our Know When to Say When campaign back in 1982. So we celebrated the 30th anniversary of that several years ago. And we continue to push the designated driver message because that's so important. And when you look at the beer industry traditionally, it's been a pretty manly industry and you're here for the last 17 years saying here's how we need to do things differently here's how we need to be more responsible more sustainable what kind of challenges come with that how do you come into an industry like that and say here's what we're going to do differently it goes well when you have leadership at the top and at Anheuser-Busch InBev we've always had that our first efforts really around responsible drinking uh, were introduced and pushed by our then chairman CEO August Bush III. Now our CEO Carlos Brito very much involved in these efforts, very much supportive and, and he actually I think put it best, he spoke at a conference on social responsibility a couple years ago and he said look we are not aliens, we live here. We don't you know, work here and then go back to Mars at night. So we really care about these issues as individuals, as people who are driving the same highways as everyone else. Alright Carol Clark, thanks for joining us. Thank you.